What's going on everyone? Today's video is for my E39 Touring fans and specifically I'm going to show you guys how to fix the trunk struts and replace them so you don't have to deal with that falling trunk on your back anymore. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now in front of me, I've collected everything that we're going to need for today, including the replacement struts. And I'll have a part number for these down in the description below. It costs about 120 bucks for all four, because remember there's two that hold the window alone. And then there's two that hold the trunk. What we're going to need to replace them mainly is going to be a pry bar. That's going to aid in removing and installing. We need a pick tool to get off the C clips from the struts. I like to have a dead blow hammer and I kind of made this little socket looking tool here. You'll see what that's for later. But then I have some pliers and that's going to help us get the dowels and the clips off and things like that. And here are the plastic covers. So you're going to have to start by removing the plastic covers and you're going to need a Torx bit that is exactly T20 and there's four of these screws. You have to also open the glass separately in order to access all them. And if you're lucky, you might have all the plastics on your trim here, but we have that exposed and you'll see the last screw. So remove the T20 screws and get these plastic pieces off. And you'll see that they have these little channels for the wires and such to go through. And so it's really important that you actually check the harness here because a lot of times you can have circuit breaks from the wires getting pinched here. So while you're doing this service for my E39 Touring guys, you're gonna wanna check the harness and make sure you don't have any cuts or anything. And it's really annoying to reinstall these. Trust me, I've already gone and done this side so I can get to show you all the tips and tricks. Now you'll see that right now my trunk barely holds itself up. That's like I said, because we replaced the side over here already. But let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna remove these ones. Actually, our friends over here on YouTube at Beamer Merchant, they went on a parts car and they cut open the roof here. And I'll put a clip of that here showing you, you know, how to remove the strut and basically the clip type of ball that, you know, how it works. So since we're not gonna be cutting up the car, we have to access that from in here. And what I like to start by doing is is removing the trim for the trunk seal here. And that gives us a little bit better access from the bottom. And with those plastic covers off, I think we'll have just as much room as we need. So it's gonna be hard to see with the struts still in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. We're gonna start with the smaller one on the left here on the inside. There's a small clip we'll remove with our pick tool and then we'll slide off the strut and then from the back, we're gonna go ahead and put the pry bar underneath it so that we can pry it off of the ball and then pull it out through the center here. So we're gonna start with the middle one, replace it, and then we'll do the right one here. They're both, I'd say, like equally as hard, but honestly, I'd say maybe 30 minutes per side getting these things changed out. Not that difficult at all. So that took about two minutes in its entirety. Getting it off is not the hard part, but getting it on is, and you'll see just at the back there, that's the little pinball hinge that I was talking about. And just like a normal trunk strut, you have to just clip it on and off with a little bit of force because this is what these struts look like. They just look like normal trunk struts. They're just a ton more of a pain to change. And uh, this one from over on the passenger side had a ton of gunk on it. So it looks like it was probably spitting a little bit of oil. They are original though. You can see those little E39 stamps, Germany, BMW. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the opportunity to go ahead and clean because there's a lot of dust and dirt in there. Just take that opportunity. You can either blow it out with an air compressor or since we're inside the garage right now, I'm just gonna use a shop back and try to get as much of the big stuff as possible. Now with reassembling the new one, what I've learned is the trick is you can see that these things have an alignment to them. So you can say that this is up and down right here and that the little ball hinge is pointed down. So what I like to do is I like to grab my pliers and keep this whole thing exactly vertical and get it in there. And then once it's right on top of the ball, you wanna get your pry bar and put it on top and just kind of wedge it against the roof and press this thing down. And it doesn't require a lot of force, but it does require that you have this thing exactly aligned 
and not to the side. So let me go ahead and try that now and we'll see how easy it is. And once you've heard a satisfying little click, it should be attached like mine is right now. So what we need to do now is we need to get it onto this little pivot pin. The problem is that it seems a little bit too short just because obviously this strut needs to be under tension, under load in order to hold this entire assembly up. So what I've learned is if I put a little socket on the end of it here and I use a dead blow hammer, I can go and compress this strut just enough so that it'll slip onto this hinge and then we can put the clip on the back of it. So let me go ahead and do that now. So like you saw, a couple of taps, and now we can go ahead and put this little C-clip on the back end of it here, and now it's done. It's as simple as that. I swear the other side definitely took me more time, but this is super easy now that I know the tools that I need to use, and now you guys know as well to make this task super simple. So now all we need to do is change out the bigger one on the side here, and it's gonna be the same exact procedure, except the fact that this uses a dowel pin that goes through it. So you're gonna remove the C-clip here, and then you need to push the dowel pin out, and it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to reinstall when we do get to that point, but it should be the same for the back end to remove and install that little hinge. So let me go ahead and change that out and show you guys how. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. You can see I even have my lights suspended here by the trunk and this thing is not going anywhere. It's actually pretty strong. Uh, so now the hard part is just gonna be getting those annoying plastic covers back on and that's just gonna require some patience. Like I said guys, don't forget to check your harness. Mine looks completely fine here. I don't see any breakages but usually people do suffer from issues surrounding like the trunk buttons or like the antennas and whatever else is in the trunk can be affected when these wires right here start to rub up against one another and cause short circuits. So definitely something worth inspecting. But now, like I said, we're gonna reinstall those plastic covers and then we'll be done for the day. Wow, so it is really fixed once and for all. And I wish I would have done this before BMW Invasion because I had the trunk here full with my cooler and goose and, and car stuff. And it was just such a pain in the butt having to hold this thing up while I was unloading it. But now it's 100% fixed. And you know, it's just so nice to be able to just with a couple of fingers be able to open the trunk and the window and know that it's gonna stay up. So if you haven't done this yet on your E39 Touring and your trunk struts are failed like mine, then you need to do this because it is so worth the $100 for the struts. So that'll conclude our video for today. And now that we've conquered the trunk struts, I think we're gonna be ready to do the reverse camera retrofit in a very soon upcoming video. So definitely leave a like if you're excited for that one and comment down below if you have any other pro tips for E39 touring situations like this. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't yet. As always, I hope everyone has an amazing day and we will see you in the next video.